Oh yeah, bark it, it's the one. Yeah, right shorty, yeah, I was down bad, but now I'm better. No broken heart, no sad, so I'm chasing shit. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Just a little disclaimer, you guys don't need any plugins or anything. So just if you're thinking of like Twixter or whatever, whatever other people are using, no, it's it's not the same for After Effects. I'm pretty sure there is other ways you can do this, but this is just the easier way. It's easier and it gives off the exact same effect. So yeah, you might as well just do it this way. Pretty much firstly, what you want to do is open a new composition, then uh, get, it, get your clip that you want to do the effect to. All right, so I've got my clip cut to where I want it to be and I've added some music just for the video's sake so pretty much right off the bat what you guys want to do is go over to layer in the top right click that click over to new go to solid and make this solid green just click ok all right so now that i've got in your composition make sure it's above your clip that you want to add the effect to so once you've got into your composition just go over here and click the uh solid go over to one of the sides and just drag it i normally do something like this that that looks decent then what you want to do is just like stretch this a bit all right so here we go here's the main pretty much the main bit of of the effect as i said before this is actually an easy method so if you guys are new to after effects this should be fine for you to learn anyways go over to here and go to transform all right so i want my effect to start around here i'd say so what you guys want to do is go over to rotation and just keyframe that i like to start it off around like here ish on an angle all right so once you've got that keyframe down you can go forward in the video then what you want to do is like rotate it say to there i like that all right so this is what it looks like at the moment this is gonna this looks absolutely dog shit right now but trust me it's actually gonna look good i'm actually gonna move this keyframe a bit yeah that so yeah and now to get the zoom out effect what you guys want to do is go over to scale and just keyframe that and go a bit forward like to where you get the kill i guess and just like completely upscale it like that all right so once you've done all of that this is what it should look like all right does not look that good at the moment but just 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 wait it's gonna look good so what you guys want to do now is select your rotation keyframes and go ahead and click f9 on your keyboard this will activate the ease ease like uh time remapping select those two make sure they they look like this what i have on my screen right now and go over to here right next to this like circle thing uh the graph editor if it, if it does look like this just go ahead and right click on one of the open spots and go ahead and click edit value graph once you're here on this page click this dot right here and drag it to around here and click this dot over here and drag it to around there you should get this nice curve it doesn't have to be perfect you can muck around with it learning how to use timing mapping really benefits your edits so i would recommend that all right so once you've done that it should look like this so now pretty much what we're gonna do is select the scale keyframes and do the pretty much the exact same thing to them well not the exact same thing but it's, it's very similar go ahead and click f9 again once you've selected the scale keyframes go over to graph editor again once you're in graph editor make sure you're in edit speed graph not edit value graph see this big dome just drag the right one all the way to the left don't worry about anything else that that's all you need to do at the moment what you guys might notice right now is it zooms in really really fast so you might want to adjust your keyframes a bit all right so i've adjusted my keyframes to the way i want it to look pretty much now what you guys want to do is go over to the effects and presets tab and search drop shadow should be right here just drag and drop it onto your solid you guys can mess around with the direction distance and stuff what i like to do is do around here and uh make the opacity 100 then go over to softness and turn it like to like that or you could put it to the say the middle i actually like that more yeah before we go on the video i'm sure you guys don't want this big green bar staying near the entire clip so what you guys want to do is go to the first keyframe that you guys start the effect go ahead and keyframe opacity make sure it's at zero then go a bit forward in the clip and put it to a hundred that's what it should look like there we go now pretty much what you guys want to do is select the solid and the clip that you wanted to add the effect to what you guys want to do is click on the clip that you wanted to add the effect to and just click Control c this is just to duplicate the layer afterwards you'll get it just listen to me just click Control c just on on the clip that you wanted to add the effect to now what you guys want to do is select both of the clips while you have both of the clips selected right click on them 
and go over to pre-compose it should say move all attributes into a new composition just click ok once it's now pre-composed what you guys want to do is click Control v and move this clip down below the pre-comp so what we're going to be doing is green screening this clip the pre-composition and the other layer below it will, will begin to show so it'll create this sort of split effect and you can add hue behind it or glow or wh whatever effect you want to add so to green screen this what you want to do is right click on the pre-composition go over to effect go to keying and click key light 1.2 would you got it on your pre-comp go over to screen color and make this green so this little slit here should reveal the under layer right here so to this under layer you guys can add hue let's just add hue set bright to it i'm just gonna go ahead and keyframe the hue shift go over to the end of the clip right here and just turn it all the way up also another effect you guys can add is you guys can dim the screen before you get the kill so pretty much what you guys want to do is set up brightness in the effect and presets tab go ahead and just drag brightness and contrast over to your pre-composition i like to start dimming the screen before the effect starts so i'm just gonna go ahead and keyframe this then since it spreads out you don't really have to end it but for the sake of the video i'm going to make it brighter at the end near the end of the clip what i want to do is just drag it pretty much all the way down and then go a couple frames ahead and just brighten it up a bit you guys can add slow motion if you guys want i just haven't i'm just gonna select both of the clips and pre-compose them again but anyways if you guys want to add uh slow motion just go over to the effects and presets tab again and type in time warp just drag and drop that in there turn the speed to 100 then right as you get the kill just go ahead and keyframe the speed go over to the next frame after that and put it down to i like around 50 so this is what it looks like pretty much right now just for the video sake i'm gonna add flicker and shake just like i would in a normal highlights montage if you guys want to follow along just go over to the effects and presets tab and search in shake you do need a plugin for this but it's very easy to to get sapphire for the main effect you do not need any plugins that's what i was saying at the start of the video i would definitely recommend sapphire though it is a big help if you're if you're trying to learn how to edit on after effects i'm just going to go ahead and add one of my presets over here go ahead and pause the video if you guys want to copy my settings if you're adding shake go over to amplitude make sure it's on zero just go ahead and keyframe that go a couple frames ahead and just put it over to however much you you want really personally i'm going to put it to around 1.7 then go over to around the after the kill and just put it back to zero the shake does not look very good at the moment that's because i did not add my main shake that i like to add which you need blomo curves for which is another sapphire plugin which i also recommend sapphire as i said before go over to right before you get the kill so around here and just go ahead and keyframe shift y then go four frames I like putting mine to 200 four frames ahead again minus 170 four frames again 100 pretty much what you want to do is just keep rotating it and just lowering it every time we'll just copy what i'm trying to do and you'll get this really cool shake effect that to around 30 then put this to let's say minus 10 and then zero make sure wrap x and wrap y are reflect so you don't get all this all that black shit if you guys want to add flicker you guys can add flicker also just go over to your effects and presets flicker it's also a sapphire plugin just go over to right before you kill him keyframe amplitude make sure it's at zero go a couple frames after and just put it back to say 2000 then put it back down at the end of the clip i normally add blur so i'm just going to go ahead and add blur another sapphire plugin <laughs> just go right before you get the kill keyframe it blur amount make sure it's at zero go a couple frames ahead and just put the blur i like it around 20 and then fade it off at the end of the video just make sure to adjust all the keyframes uh to your personal preference really and this is pretty much the final product so here you go 
That is pretty much it, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap a like on it and subscribe. If you guys use this in any of your videos, make sure to tag me. If you guys have any questions or curiosities, make sure to leave them in the comments. I literally look at every single comment. Also, I would just like to say thank you guys so much for 2,000 subscribers. That's actually, like, insane. I really hope this video helped you guys out with your edits and creativity. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Peace.